So after we cleaned out our garage right at the very beginning, I have filled it up several more times. I just wanted to share with you because this is the nitty gritty folks. This is what people do not tell you when you're downsizing, but this is my garage. And every time my husband gets it emptied from taking stuff to storage or taking stuff to Goodwill or whatever, uh, I just fill it right back up again with our boxes, but it's really nice to have the space. And so that is why you want to tackle the garage right at the beginning, because once, once it's empty of all the junk that, um, you know, that you don't need right now, then you can actually use the square footage in your garage to store stuff right before it goes to storage. So it's what it is now is things that we can't move yet. It's gardening supplies that I'm taking to the new house. It's things that need to be sold on Marketplace or donated and our cleaning products that we're gonna need for the house before we move out, plus paint and touch up paint and supplies. I just can't get rid of that yet because we're still living here and we still need it and we still have five weeks before we move out. So, and then of course, here's my like immediate storage I need. This is where I keep overflow paper towels and toilet paper and tissues and just things I need to get my hands on sometimes. I really just can't let them go yet. We were given moving boxes from my neighbor and it was very nice of her to offer, which, and it was fabulous because we really needed them, but they were all full of paper, which is also awesome because we get to reuse the paper and we don't have to buy it. But so I am enlisting my two helpers behind me, my two sons, um, to open the boxes and spread out the paper. So. Again, another reason why you want to have your garage cleaned out because it enables you to do things like this. It gets, it keeps getting worse before it's totally done, but that's what you can expect from that. And then I've also been working really hard to get rid of like big furniture. So now that we're under contract, I don't need to keep the house staged anymore like I did at the beginning. And so like this is the room when you walk in, it's the bar room and I sold the chairs that were there. I sold them yesterday. And we have house guests, which are wonderful. They're, I mean, they're best friends and that's, that's fabulous, but it does add another element to it because I know they're trying to spread out like they would normally. And I'm like, okay, I sold that table today. So now you gotta get up. So that's the other thing I did. I sold my dining room table on Monday and the woman's coming to get it today. So she only took the chairs and left the table. So we have that. So that's what that looks like. And then the last room that we have done stuff with is my guest bedroom downstairs. We had the carpet replaced. So it smells, it smells so good, like fresh VOCs, friends. This was the one major um, thing that we did besides like painting and patching and things like that to the house. Well, just so you know, that one room is about 215 square feet and it costs about $800 to replace that one room of carpet. So if you're thinking about doing capital improvements, like replacing flooring before you move out, now you know how much to expect on that. I have the home inspection is tomorrow. And so we're very excited about that. And we're just trying to get it all cleaned up and pretty before we um, hit that next hurdle. Thank you so much for tuning in, for watching as I go through this crazy downsizing process. I really, really appreciate your support. So if you would please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, so that would really help me out to keep bringing um, some good content to you over the next little while here. I'm having house guests until literally our closing date on May 21st. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm so happy that you're following along and that you're here and through all this craziness that's going on right now. Also, if you're into DIY projects, please don't forget to check out my other channel at Decor Sauce and I'll post that link here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll meet back here very, very soon.